was a super winner down the line. You know, top spin to top spin. They're varying where they're placing the ball. And that was difficult to, to see where he was going to place it. Timo ball just caught out of position. Hans Wilhelm Gabe there, the former German president of the association, looking on. And that was a, a good backhand, wide out to the forehand, and then played. Down the line there for that winner, just missing the table. There's a really clever tactical display here from Timo Ball. Yang Wu Jin, very athletic, very quick on his feet. but it's the wise head of Timo Bolt that's got him this four-point lead, 8-4. And now Bolt with his two serves to come. It was a good serve there, but receive of serve, keeping it tight. Serve. Well spotted by the umpire. So quick, so powerful. And that inside out forehand again down the line. You just look and you can see it's going there. Where's it going next? And it just turns at the last minute. The arm actually is so quick, 76k. Yet to see an 80k, but I'm sure we'll get there. That was a great shot down the line. Great place, placement by both players. Moving the ball around the table, some in the body, some wide, some straight. Trying to make the counter top spin. Timo Boll, he knew he was under pressure, he knew that Jang had the initiative, took a gamble, it was the right thing to do, the tactics were good, just didn't quite pull off what was a very difficult shot. Oh, touch, just touch the net. Timo putting his hand up for an apology. But they all count, don't they, Dom? They certainly do, and that's three game points for the German player. Well anticipated. Forehand into the body. Chang Wu Jin was waiting for the ball, just punched it out wide. And now, of course, the Korean player has the advantage of his two serves. He'll be looking to get in behind the serve with what we call a third ball topspin or a third ball attack. Heavy backspin on the serve. The ball took a gamble. He let it come over the edge, but he just hardly had the space to make that shot so close to the white line to the baseline but he missed the top spin he ran around the backhand you'd have backed Zhang Wujin to make that shot he didn't it caught the top of the net and it's the first game to Germany 11 points to nine There we have a summary of the game. I guess the statistic that sticks out there is that Timo Ball was 
10% higher on points, one on service. And of course, when the score is 11 9, that is all important. So the players now back at the table for the second game. A words of wisdom from Jorgen Roskov and from Kim Tech Su, the two coaches. Just sense here that Chang Woo Jin is the quicker on his feet. Timo Bowl tactically a little bit more astute. And we'll see who comes out on top. Again, that was a clever softball from Bowl. Had a bit of spin on it, but a bit slower pace. A gamble there, Timo Ball stepped round the backhand. The ball came to him. He had a chance to make that forehand. He went for down the line. It was a very small target he had to hit to hit. Just missed it. He didn't that time. Maybe he got his feet a bit further round and therefore was able to execute the, the stroke better. sense that both these players are at their best when they're playing their forehand from the backhand side of the table. Very difficult in both cases to tell where they're going to place the ball. And both generate a lot of power. It's often a good idea when you're playing a player who's looking to get in with the backhand from the forehand side to get out wide to the forehand early in the rally. Again, that forehand from the backhand side. Here he goes, steps round. And he'd have been waiting for that forehand from the backhand side. Players can towel down every six points. Oh, Timo Ball will be disappointed there. Great serve. It was right on the baseline, on the sideline. It literally bounced on the white line. And then he just missed the forehand topspin out wide to Yang Wu Jin's forehand. It's a great serve. The placement was perfect. Heavy backspin serve there, and he followed it up with a third and then a fifth ball. Putting ball under pressure. That was a great return of the net court from Yang Wu Jin. And he just tried a little bit too hard on that very short return from Timo Ball, look at that there, it's great touch, great feeling, this is the one he hits a little bit too hard, he let the ball drop below the net height, all you can do when it's that low is spin it up. Took the ball early, hit, hit it as it was rising. interesting when the crowd is full and it's pretty full now six seven thousand people here the air conditioning up in the higher part of the hall is blowing the ball a little bit so a few of the players feel when they're away from the table that ball moving around gives them a chance 
And it's also very difficult to, to hit it, you know, when it's up high and ballooned in the air. Anyway, when if the air conditioning is affecting the ball, that's even more difficult. Seven five to eight five now for Yang Wu Jin. So quick on his feet, very quick arm action generates a lot of power. That heavy backspin there again, you know, third ball, fifth ball, Timo Ball having to just contain it. So there's the third ball, the fifth ball that you mentioned, Joe. And you always sense that once he gets in with that first strong topspin, Yang Wu Jin's the favourite to win the point. This time it was Ball who got in first, as you can see on the replay. And then Ball going on to win the point. So important to get in with that first strong topspin. That was a great backhand. Very wristy. Quick movement. Arm and elbow on the diagonal. And taken so early. Paul knows he has to put Yang Wu Jin under pressure. He has to take the ball early. He has to hit it fairly hard. But there he was trying to touch that one delicately over the net. It's almost a great return. It just missed the table by millimetres. And so now three game points for the player from the Republic of Korea. Saved. Just let that ball drop. Did Young see it on the replay? When he actually makes contact with this ball, see how high it is. Just started to drop. Top of the bounty would have had a much better chance. Yang Wu Jin who takes the second game 11-8 and he levels this third round men's singles contest at one game each we'll be back shortly for the third game uh, all over the table and there we look at Timo Balls quite a few on the right hand side of the table as we look at it So the players now back out at the table for the third game. It's one game apiece. So it's the former world number one, Timo Boltesurf at the beginning of the third game. Forehand down the line. It was more steered down the line and then it landed on the edge. Timo Ball very quick to acknowledge his good fortune. First point to Ball.
was good. Good play there. Good serve. Touch receive. Timo pushed it long, but he was able to step in. There you see it again. Short. And then wasn't quite strong enough from Timo there. Timo coming across the table to return with his backhand from the forehand side. He then went out wide to Yang Wu Jin's forehand. Didn't quite have the angle to make the shot. Two points apiece. Well, that was into Timo Boll's body and then played wide out to him. It's always difficult when the ball goes into the middle because then you've got to decide whether to play a backhand or a forehand. So you've got to have good footwork to, to get into the right position. Oh, that was good control from Yang Wu Jin. Jim Tetsu there on his feet. Timo Ball was the first one who got in this time, as we see on the replay. The Korean player able to contain the speed and spin of the German player. So now a three-point lead for Yang Wu Jin. That was a good angle. Moved his racket. I thought it was going down the other side of the table, but the last minute it just changed. Change direction. Clever. Two more ball there. Didn't go for speed. He spun the ball up. Took the pace off the ball. And parted more topspin by brushing up the back of the ball. Turn around. See my ball down there and now up six five. Oh. And then we see the areas exploited by Zhang Wu Jin and the area there you can see that stands out is the left hand corner 40 percent and now we look at the same statistics for ball and indeed he's attacking the opposite corner the top right hand corner is where he's focusing on and because we've got a left hand and a right hander that means they're trying to play into the opponent's backhand but keep them guessing by occasionally going out to the forehand Good serve from Ball took Wang Yujin completely by surprise. He ended up pushing back a long serve. This down an excellent short serve, the reverse action service. The back going away from the body, coming underneath the ball a little bit. Back spin and side spin. There we see the service action. Perfect placement as well. Two excellent serves from Ball. Gives him that two-point lead. Oh. 
The return was a little bit high, didn't quite read the spin. That service well. Timo Bold could receive. Again, if anything, Yang Wu Jin letting the ball drop again. Just needs to take it a fraction earlier. It's a great counter top spin by Yang Wu Jin. And of course, now this next point crucial. And remember, it's Yang Wu Jin who has the serves at the end of this third game. Oh, great backhand on the diagonal there. Makes it game point. Timo Ball. The side header. A towel down. Now to towel down after every six points. And then with a slow spinny one and then a fast backhand spin ball on the diagonal. were good from ball he was trying to negate the serve by just touching it back very tight over the net hit the net cord and unfortunately the ball rolled backwards onto his side of the table so one again point save one remains great service i have to say second bounce was very close to the baseline let's have a look again on the replay in the end, ball deciding to play just over the table. So now it's 10 points each. It's alternate serving, and it's the first player to win two clear points. point for Timo Ball. Will it be third time lucky? He's done it. Great return of serve out wide to the forehand. Set up the point. And Timo Ball wins the third game. 12-10. He now leads by two games to one. Slightly more unforced errors from Yang Wu Jin. And slightly more points won on service by Timo Ball. That was the difference. The score was 12-10. It was minimal. Minimal difference in the match stats. The slight edge, unsurprisingly, going to Timo Ball. Players now have returned to the table, ready to start the fourth game. The crowd warming up now to Timo Ball. He's taken a 2-1 lead.
21 years of age. Yang Wu Jin, world junior champion, as you mentioned, Joe, back in 2013. He won that title in Morocco. Again, the top spin to top spin exchange. serve there and followed up with a great third ball turn it in slow motion and wide out to Yang Wu Yin's backhand great winner Again, both seem to win their points on good serving and third ball. Both players are going to be feeling under pressure when receiver serve because they know they've got to keep it tight. <laughs> yeah, Roscoff looking on there, it's very pensive. Certainly the players from the Republic of Korea celebrate when they win a point. No matter what time in the game. Again, good from Timo Bolt. Buried the spin and speed on the ball that time. He threw it up with not a lot of spin, not a lot of speed. Sometimes that's all it takes, isn't it? Just to change, change the pace. Again, coming across the table to return with the backhand from the forehand side. Two consecutive points for the German player, clawing his way back into this game. 2-1 up, of course. Again, that same technique. It's interesting, when you come across to the forehand side to return with your backhand, you can get a lot more wrist on the backhand side. And players now exploiting that fact. And you'll see so many coming across to the forehand to return with the backhand. 15 years ago, the coaches would have told you, you don't do that. And it's another one of the more recent developments. And it's all to do with getting more wrist into the shot. And therefore, more speed and spin. And adds another variation to receive of serve. So the momentum now in this fourth game. Back with Timo Ball. <laughs> Playing a player 15 years his junior. Good placement there. Into the body. And that winner, 74 kilometers an hour. Haven't quite got to the 80 yet, Don, as you uh, said earlier. The big cheer you heard in the background was from table number three and the 13 year old Japanese boy. He's through to the next round. It's an amazing story. 
Harry Norco. But back on table one. Five, two down, I think he was. Timo Volley's now won six points on the run. But the heavy backspin on the Zhang Wujin service there, forcing the error from Bolt. Having said that, Bolt was trying to be positive. He was trying to flick the ball down the line, get out wide to Zhang Wujin's forehand. But now Bolt with his two serves. Oh. He knew he had to make a little bit of space, tried to lean backwards to play that forehand from the backhand side. He lent just a little bit too much, ended up sat on the floor, and even Bolt couldn't get up from this position. There he goes. He's nowhere to be seen because, quite simply, he's on the floor. And that camera attached to the bottom of the table. Great view. Oh, that backhand again. Very spinny. A lot of power in that. One of these two points would be ideal. Well, two would be ideal, but Timo Ball would settle for one. 10 8 up and serving would be a good situation for him. He's guaranteed at least that now. Three game points. And of course, he has his two serves to come, should he need them at the end of this fourth game. gambled ran round blind in other words he ran round before he knew where the ball was going gambling that it would come down that side of the table and he would have launched himself into a forehand from the backhand side out fought on that occasion by Yang Wu Jin so here we go Timo now goes round and he's left stranded but he now has two serves and two game points That service. He's done it. Back on to back end down the line. Ball takes the fourth game. 11 points to eight. He now leads by three games to one. And we'll be back shortly for the fifth game. of the game again the one that jumps out is the points one on service 67 percent so for every three points with service bowls winning two not quite as good for yang Wu jin and there we have looked like a picture of marlong on the bottom of the racket there i thought that might be tino's back but of course timo ball played in the doubles with Marlong. They oh. lost to the Chinese pair, Fan Shendong and Xu Xin. But now Timo Ball completely focused on this singles. He's made a great start. He leads by three games to one against the 21 year old from the Republic of Korea. How on earth did that go on? I think he's bat at the table. Anyway, wonderful return of serve by Yang Wu Jin. Take the first point. Brave serve there, again taking the 21-year-old by surprise. He would normally look to topspin that, but he wasn't expecting it. And in surprise, he ended up pushing with the backhand. Oh, that was a great angle. Amazing how wide these players can get the ball now. But he's got such quick footwork, and he's able to get his, you know, his body around there and generate that power as well oh it's 
that's well anticipated by Zhang Wu Jin. See here, ball Thompson's down the line, but he's there waiting for it with the backhand block. Not only does he block it back, but he gets the angle out wide to Bowles' forehand. Wonderful play. This time, Kang was waiting for that long serve. This time he made the backhand topspin rather than the push. Gave himself a chance in the point, but it was the consistent topspins from Timo Ball that came out on top. So Ball now with his second serve in this sequence of two. Oh, well done, Ball. That reverse serve there, and following third ball. The German rattles are going. See it there? But it's that counter topspin that's mm. outstanding. The serve just drifted a little bit long. And in fact, it was a reasonable topspin from Yang Wu Jin, but that counter topspin there is outstanding. So the experience of Timo Ball standing him in good stead here. 3 1, up in games. 3 all. Now leading 4 3 against the up and coming star from the Republic of Korea. 21-year-old Yang Wu Jin, there he is. That was a great return of serve. The spin was loaded with spin. Ball used that spin, guided the ball deep into the backhand. You see here invites the top spin and makes the very good counter top spin close to his body a lot of use of the elbow and the wrist to make that shot and timeout has now been called by kim tech su just to remind everybody i'm sure you're, you're all aware of this by now but each player has one timeout in the whole match it's a one minute break in play and you spend that one minute in the coach's corner and it's often used to break the momentum when one coach player feels the opponent has got the momentum then timeout calls and indeed yang wu jin was leading i think 3-1 in this game and all of a sudden ball puts together a run of four points how do we stop that run well one way is let's try and break the momentum let's have a pause in play do you agree with the timeout the call jill yeah definitely definitely i mean he ball had got quite a few points ahead and he's Got to try and con contain himself, Yang Wu Jin. So it was a, an ideal time to have a timeout, to have a, a chat with his coach. So let's see if it's effective or not. Ball now with two serves. And that's a crucial point. Psychologically, that first point after a timeout is a big point to win. And now. Especially when, when you haven't called the timeout. It's, a it's almost like a point against the serve, really. It's a point against the timeout. Oh, well played. Ball there looking to contain it into the backhand side. Yang Wu Jin took a little bit of a gamble. We'll see they're keeping it into there. He steps round. That's the one where he stepped round to play his forehand from the backhand side. And look, he's now back in the rally. Let's hope, for, hope that Ball doesn't look back on that rally as a turning point. He was 6-3 up. Look at that footwork there. Oh, no. Again, you see the experience of Ball. Forgets the last point. Very calm. Makes a very strong backhand topspin. I think he caught the net cord, hence the... Race finger to acknowledge his good fortune, but 7 4. Oh, well played, Timo Ball again. A little bit of good fortune, not with the winning shot. The previous shot caught the net. But then Ball still had to make a great shot to win the point. Again, it's a great opportunity to see that again. There's the one that just catches the top of the net, but still, that's a wonderful topspin. The ball was dropping, and he still managed to whip it out wide to Chang Wu Jin's forehand. So now, 8 4. Back 
spin on that service. The reverse action, the back going away from the body. And using the wrist to cut underneath the ball sometimes, to go across the back of the ball sometimes. Constantly varying the spin. Oh, now six match points for Germany's Timo Boll, the 36-year-old, the number eight in the world, former number one, a record number of European titles to his name, and of course three Olympic medals. He's looking very good for a place in the next round. One match point saved, five remain. And there it is, Ball takes the fifth game. 11 points to five, and he wins by four games to one, and that really was a great performance by Timo Ball. His experience shone through. He was up against a player with a tremendous amount of speed, both on the on his feet and with his rackets. But tactically, he was quite superb. I'm sure your Roscoff got the tactic spot on as well, and between them they put in a performance that was outstanding confirmation of the match score jill a worthy winner oh definitely i, I thought he played extremely well